I, I wanted to say that I'm thankful for Washington County Court for for this for him being remanded. Our family is going through an awful, awful time at this moment. Kaylin was an amazing young lady. We all loved her so much. She was so kind. We're just at a loss at this moment. I wasn't going to speak to media, but Kaylin deserves to have her story told and what a beautiful person she was and how many people loved her and My daughter was a, an honor student. She had hopes and dreams of becoming, she had hopes and dreams of becoming a marine biologist or a veterinarian. She loved animals. And this man took that away from us. It's my understanding that my daughter and her friends made the mistake of pulling in his driveway, realized it, turned around, and he fired at them as they were leaving the driveway. I have the utmost confidence that the justice system will prevail. Kalen deserves justice. Kalen's two younger sisters, Lily and Maddie, are going to have to grow up without their older sister. My wife, Angel, is going to have to go through the rest of her life without her baby girl. She, uh, she was so smart. She was so smart, kind, loving. She had so many friends. The outreach from everyone around the world has been incredible and uplifting for our family. And I want to also talk about Kaylin's boyfriend, Blake. He's an amazing young man. He wanted to marry my daughter. And I would have loved that. The first time I saw Blake after this happened, he said, it's all my fault. And I said, no, it's no one's fault except for that man that pulled the trigger. You guys had no idea that something that bad could happen on a backcountry road. Their friend that they were going to see was a half a mile down the road. And I've heard a lot of people say that this man's driveway, it's a wide driveway at the, at the base, and it looks like a road. And... <sighs> For this man to sit on his porch and fire at a car with no threat is just, just angers me so badly. And I, I just hope to God that he dies in jail. Her plans for the night were to go over to Blake's house and go in the hot tub. She was getting her bathing suit. And I'm just, if any, anything I'm thankful for is that I got to tell her that I love her before she walked out the door. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.